These are the Easy Mold Sticks. This is the Easy Mold Strand of Pearls, and this is the Easy Mold Rope. So I'm going to show you how to use these three components, you know, the sticks, how to use the molds, because these all, as I said, are interchangeable, and the technique is used the same for creating the pearls as it is for the rope. So first of all, um, there are two sizes of sticks in this set. Um, so this is actually like a wooden dowel size and a poly dowel size, and this is the perfect size for what we need. So when we are making pearls, we need to make a diameter of sausage of paste, the size, so you can see that the wooden stick is the size of the large pearls, which is actually 10 millimeter diameter. The green stick here is the size of the smaller pearls, which are 8 millimeter diameter. This also applies to the rope. We make a sausage of paste the size of the large wooden stick for the large rope and the small green stick for the small rope. Now, usually when I'm creating rope or pearls, I would either use 50-50 paste, which is half gum paste and half fondant, or modified fondant if I was matching a color of a cake. So this is actually in white, which because most of the time I do my pearls are doing white. So this is half gum paste and half rolled fondant. You can use scratch gum paste, Renshaw gum paste, or commercial gum paste mixed with Renshaw fondant. So I'm going to take here a piece of paste. For those of you who are familiar with my size guide technique, I'm going to use a number 13 size. And uh, so this is going to be measured about one third below, two thirds above. And the 13 size actually is about approximately about 18 grams if you were weighing this on a scale. Now, if you were going to do this all the way around the wedding cake, you could make four or five balls of paste depending on how many you need to use. I'm going to work just a little bit of vegetable shortening into this because straight fondant would be too soft to make these pearls. But as I explained, you can also modify the fondant if you take 115 grams of rolled fondant. So if, let's say you're going to make these in blue to match the blue of your fondant. 115 grams of rolled fondant, one quarter teaspoon of tylose or CMC, and one quarter teaspoon of vegetable shortening. And then you need to let that sit for about 15 minutes before you start to um, put that into the mold. And this would mean you could match the color of your cake. Now, you're going to roll this to a basic sausage, all right? But it's very difficult to get a sausage perfect all the way along. So this technique I use is that we take the size diameter you want to use, and then we use a rolled fondant smoother. And what you're going to do here is you're going to just roll. You see how I've actually got the smoother is at an angle here. So you see how when the sausage that comes through the other end is going to be a perfect sausage the size of the diameter. So if you were doing, for example, a braiding of a uh, fondant uh, for the bottom of, say, a graduation cake, you could just do this in fondant. You could make, obviously, a sausage, two or three sausages, and actually then braid this. But you could make this however long you wanted it to be. But you see we have an identical size to the match to the sausage. Now, when you do the small, the small size one, it would be exactly the same. The difference is you'd start off, instead of with a number 13 size, you'd start off with a number 12, which would be about 15 grams. So you're just starting off with a smaller piece of paste and obviously making it into a thinner sausage. Now once you get your sausage to this size, okay, we're going to just take some cornstarch and I've got my cornstarch in my little easy liner. So again, we have a video segment showing how to make a little cornstarch pouch. And uh, we're going to take the piece here, so I'm going to show you the pearls. All right, so when we put the pearls, so you're going to lay your sausage over the top of your pearls. It's going to be a little bit longer than you need, all right? And then the idea is you're just going to open up your pearl mold with my right hand, so you see how the pearls will actually just drop into the bottom of the mold. So this is very, very easy to do. So you see how your, your pearls, when I teach this, I relate to this as a bit like a hot dog bun, and then the sausage is like your sauce hot dog. So you see how you let the sausage just drop into the bottom of the mold, and this way it's going to give you the dimensional pearls. Okay, just make sure you get that all the way along. Now I'm going to use this little knife here. Now this is a dab fondant knife. And uh, what I do first of all is I just use this just to press the paste into here with the flat side of the knife. Because this is a plastic knife, it's not going to damage the mold. And then I'm going to use a sawing action, and I'm just going to just saw across the top of this with my, so you go from the center to the outside, center to the outside. And I use this on a lot of different silicone molds. And then I just literally just go over with my finger here and just sort of rub over with my finger just to make sure that we have a fairly smooth edge. 
And then once we get to this point, we're going to release this. So you can actually see the mold's interior inside the mold, internally in the mold. So when we remove this from the mold, all you do is you're going to hold your thumb on the top of the paste. You're going to peel the mold back. And you see how you just press in like this. So you see the pearls will just release beautifully onto your surface. Here we have your pearls. And then these pearls, you would generally attach these to a cake with um, piping gel. So I put piping gel around the bottom of the cake and then just place the pearls on. You notice the pearls are not three-dimensional. They have this square back that is done on purpose. So if you wanted to have garlands of pearls, you could just put some piping gel on there with your uh, piping gel. And then you could then drape this onto the side of the cake. And this would give you, obviously, like garlands of pearls on the side. And then normally I prefer to paint my pearls. I usually in my classes use white sparkle mixed with vodka. And uh, I prefer to use white sparkle than super pearl because super pearl goes a little milky when you add vodka to it. The white sparkle being larger particles will give you a more of a sort of a pearlescent look. And I just paint them afterwards. Some instructors will recommend that you put the pearl dust into the mold. I would against, advise against that because if you put pearl dust into here or gold dust or any type of luster dust, you will not get rid of it off the mold. And it might mean that you're doing black pearls and you don't want pearl dust onto them. So I will always paint them um, after I take them out of the mold. So that is how we would do the pearls. So you can see a beautiful strand of pearls here. And then when we're doing the rope, um, here I've actually shown the small rope. So this was, of course, rolled to this diameter. Um, and this will be a number 12 or about 15 grams rolled to the green stick size. Again, you just open up the mold like a hot dog bun and let the sausage go in. And again, when this comes out of the, you see how this will come out to create your rope. So if you're doing like a nautical themed cake, um, you could use this. Now, of course, the pearls join very easily. The rope, of course, is not going to join as easily connecting because the pearls obviously connect beautifully. When I do the rope, if I was going to use multiple pieces around the cake, I generally would just add a little knot or some little nautical design. Or for example, if you're doing a Western theme, you could do a small little uh, you know, hat or something like that. So there are always ways to cover that over or a tassel uh, on a graduation cake. But this is, as I said, the uh, rope design, which would be used in the same way. So here we have the, um, as I said, the uh, easy strand of pearls, the easy rope, and then the easy mold sticks.